all right guys welcome to the channel it's been a while and i'm back and as you can see guys i'm quarantined it's crazy bro like this whole COVID 19 thing man it's just like it's brought down businesses it's brought down schools it's crazy dog it's just like you know crazy man it might be somewhere i think i don't know it i don't know it got my clorox got some baby wipes for my kids and uh i think we're good to go we're good to go guys we're good to go planning that fairy tale wedding can be stressful enough and also a lot of money and for the couples who have been planning for months now or even years might have to postpone on saying i do we're seeing um having to potentially um postpone or cancel our uh, weddings, our private events this year, we have 16 weddings booked. They've booked hotel rooms. They've sent out invitations. They have their menu ready. They've done all the tastings. They've spent all their money, uh, made all their deposits. They have photographers and DJs lined up. And now they're looking at the possibility of, I may not even be able to have the wedding. If I can have the wedding, do I risk my guests, um, you know, potentially their health? Stephanie says all of these critical decisions are what many of these couples are currently facing. It, it is just hope. You know, we hope that this year recovers. We hope that as an industry, we don't have to write off 2020. Um, but we have the same fears that other people here do. <laughs> so guys, I just can't, you know, I just can't sit back and not make a video about this what's going on here this is huge this is big guys like i'm sure i mean i can't say that you know but in my lifetime i'm, th I'm 34 years now and in my lifetime um i've not you know witnessed anything to this extent whereby the whole world is you know shut down like the whole world is kind of shook right now one person's fault honestly like you know one person made bad decisions which led to now like the whole world getting shut down all because of one person's um bad decision and i'm not going to go through all that um blaming and doing whatnot but as that's just facts anyways um so what to expect as a wedding you know videographer or photographer if you do that service so what do you need to expect so one here is expect a lot of cancellations and date changes like people are going to postpone their weddings they're going to cancel their weddings i'm going to show you something that a bride just um uh, she sent me an email canceling the wedding i had on april 26 at the time she sent me the email i was like man what the hell why is she canceling april is in like what like a month from now they're probably going to open everything but she made a good decision because now they just announced that they're going to shut everything down throughout the whole april so that wedding is canceled so she sent me an email and she was canceling the wedding and i got i felt bad but you know what she made a good decision and think of it this way like at least like because like the couples are not going to feel um guilty if you know canceling the wedding because they don't want to be the ones to blame if somebody comes to their wedding and later on has that virus because they're going to be like oh well it's because of you because i came to your wedding so you know so i i feel like that's that guilt and um people that are just kind of like going on with it you might kind of call greed and be like oh they're greedy they only think about themselves so a lot of people are playing, like there's a lot of emotions going through, man. People are hurt with this businesses, events, uh, venues, uh, DJ, uh, wedding DJs, caterers, like wedding planners, you know, all these people, the whole industry is just like devastated right now. You know what I'm saying? Like all these people that had their weddings booked in March. Thank God, you know, thank God I only had one wedding booked in March. And that was March 21st, and the groom decided to go on with the thing, you know. Guests were supposed to be 150, but there was only 50, actually like 49. Uh, so, yeah, so he went ahead and we did the wedding, which I kind of um, appreciate because I had no 
mortgage money. Well, I had some savings, but and plus I just got my taxes, but I was relying on that wedding for the mortgage, you know. So yeah, at least I did that wedding. So now April, I'm gonna have to get money from my savings and then hopefully that $1,200 check or whatever check from the government comes through, you know. But here's one thing I gotta say though. Like Americans, people in America, um, ask people who are paying like, you know, <clears throat> taxes and stuff like that, you know, we got it good, man. Like, just think like how many countries do you know who, who the government is helping them? You know, I know my country back in Africa, the government just announced like, oh guys, we're going to be, you know, uh, we just tell, we just, um, telling everyone, make sure you wash your hands. They're just telling people to wash their hands, like, you know, with soap, you know, at least let them distribute some soap. Anyways, that's a whole nother economics, politics and all that stuff. And my channel is not that. But like the USA, you know, like sometimes we we need to, you know, sit back and look at what's going on. And um, I just watched um, bef like yesterday I was watching this documentary called Virunga. <laughs> This isn't a war yet, but it could be soon. Companies are playing with fire. Fear has driven people out of these villages. If we leave, we would lose everything. The National Park is the only hope this region has. You must justify why you are on this earth <laughs> it's just like what people in some of these places in africa and just not in africa like you know some countries like um some asian countries as well like people are suffering right now there's people guaranteed right now that are in refugee camps no wi-fi i mean there probably is wi-fi but where are they going to buy a phone they have no money no work so people are going through these bad situations and just us like you know I'm gonna say us Americans you know in the developed world just going uh, like a month just through this thing where we stay at home blah 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 we're complaining we're talking shit and all this but we have it good at least we're getting sent some money and at least our government cares about us you know other countries they have no welfare they have no food stamps and all these infrastructures that America has in place in these other big countries and, you know, like the UK. And Anyways, so I'm just saying just be positive and, you know, there's somebody out there that has it worse than you, you know. So just relax and, you know, just um, everything will be probably fine. I'm not, I don't want to be like, I don't want stuff not to go well. And then you're like, oh, Francis, you say it's going to be fine. Now look, shit has hit the fan. But I'm just saying, like, just just think about there are other people that go through worse stuff than what we're going through right now. So you got to look at that as well. So if you got Netflix, watch that documentary called Virunga. OK, guys, Virunga. Anyways, so what to expect. So I said expect a lot of cancellations and um, expect less bookings because people are holding on to their money. So expect not to get bookings. And I wouldn't blame them like. The future is uncertain right now. Why am I supposed to be paying, putting like a 25% deposit or 50% deposit or 75 in some cases, but some vendors do that. So expect less bookings. If you do get a lot of bookings, expect less bookings. So right now, I'm not even advertising for weddings, but that's just not me. Don't copy what I do. Just like right now, I'm not advertising. Future advice for you guys is always save money for rainy days. And um, another thing is um, diversify your income streams. So future advice. So what I mean is like when you're doing good, when you got a bunch of weddings lined up and you're getting all that money coming in, you know what I mean? Don't go to a strip club. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, put that money away for rainy days because you never know, man. Like situations like this happen. Don't go buy like $4,000 rims. Like why? You know what I'm like? Put that money away, you know, I mean, like put it away and just like, you know, invest it like the um, thing that I'm starting to do is 
next year I'm getting my first rental property so I want to start getting rental properties so invest your money in other businesses you know uh, real estate is a good investment and um, just other stuff just look online in other businesses like solid businesses that like you know are good to put your money and they're gonna give you a return you know so buy assets in other words so diversify your income streams and yeah so the most important thing here is just save money for the rainy days because you never know when you're gonna need it okay and um that's it for this video guys I just had to make a video on this COVID-19 situation I know I probably I'm just all over the place but you know everybody's been hit you know not everybody but my industry the wedding industry has been hit hard and it's just crazy so I just had to make this video being a person who um, is out there making videos in public so I had to make this video and kind of like put my two cents out there and uh, hopefully some of you guys like take some notes and you know save your money you know so that's that guys so hopefully everything goes back into normal soon hopefully they get the vaccine hopefully they get the you know the cure very soon so everything can go back into normal so that's that guys thanks for watching i appreciate you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh make sure you smash the like button for that youtube algorithm all right guys thank you so much appreciate y'all